Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric. So here we got this 2022 Ford Lightning. We're doing partial front end paint protection film installation on it. And this is part two where I'm gonna go over how to install PPF on this upper bumper. I've already done a video on how to install on this lower bumper. I'm gonna link that one down below. And if you're watching this one, I'm also gonna link the video on how to install the hood and the fenders as well too. So let's get into it. Okay. So I've got our bumper piece prepped. I got it sprayed down with slip solution. I've got my pattern right here. So I'm just gonna take my squeegee, create a dry spot. Just gonna pull the film back. Just gonna take and get that stuck down. Okay, so now that I have the film back rolled onto the truck, I'm just gonna pull the film back. Get some slip solution behind the film. There we go. Okay, now as far as where's my reference points, where do I start? I've never done one of these before, so you're gonna learn with me. So, We'll come over here. There we go. Okay. So, okay, so the first place to start on this upper bumper, we're gonna get this piece down right over here on the headlight. Just gonna pull the film back, get my tack solution in there. I'm just gonna squeegee that down, just like so. Okay. And then from there, what I'm going to do I'm going to move right over here and we're going to get the film down in place right over there. Just like that. Now I got these fingers popping up over here. Just gonna lay those down just with my hand. Now we're gonna come over here to this corner. And I'm gonna stretch the film into place. Just like that. Get more tack solution in there than that. There we go. Get that down. There we go. Now I'm going to take and get more slip solution in here because this is starting to feel a little bit tacky. So all I'm going to do is just pull the film back. Get a bunch more slip solution in there. And you can see as soon as I let go, how the film is starting to tighten up and rotate like that. So all I'm gonna do is twist the film right over here. And I'm keeping an eye on this top edge to make sure it's gonna line up. 
and I'm going to come right over here. I'm going to use this, re this relief cut over here. This corner is going to be where I'm going to tack it down. And that's going to keep the film, should keep the film from twisting. There we go. Just like so. And I'll come off over here. And I'm gonna come right along just like that. And you can see right here, we got this finger. I'm just gonna pull this back a little bit. Just like so. Pull everything back there. And make sure that's not overlapping itself. Now I'm gonna take and work over here in the wheel well. And I'm gonna get this down. Come up along there like that. I'm just gonna take and get this all down just with my finger to start. And there'll have to be some trimming. It's a little bit ridiculous coverage inside this fender. So that down. Actually, that'll stay down. Okay, now we'll move on. So as you saw, the way the film was twisting before, it was creating all kinds of fingers over here and you can see all these bubbles. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and get my hand underneath there, lift that up. Get rid of all that. More slip solution in there. Take my hand and force all that down. And I'm gonna come right along the top. Take and squeegee that down. That's good. Now, we're gonna go over to the passenger headlight and we're gonna get that down and then we'll deal with the middle afterwards. Okay, now that I have slip solution underneath the film over here, all I'm gonna do is take and stretch the film right into place right over here. First, I'm gonna get my tack solution in there. And that's gonna lay down just like so. So we already know what this side is going to be like now that we've done the driver's side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take right now, I'm going to put some tack solution right over here and squeegee that down. That's going to prevent a lot of the rotation of the film. Now I'm going to stretch over here into this corner, just like so. Come right along that, that edge. like that. Now I'm going to come up over here and I'm not going to tack this side down. That was an error that I made on that side. Instead, I'm just going to go right over here to this corner and deal with this later. I could, this, this could be a mistake. I don't think so. Or I should say down to this corner. go. Get 
Put that down just like so. Let me get this down with my thumb. This side went down much, much, much better than the last side. There have to be some minor trimming up over here where there's some overlap, but that's very, very minimal. Okay, now we're gonna come over here to this corner and we can see that the film has already started to fall into place exactly where it needs to be. All I'm gonna do is just get my hand in here, pop the film back a little bit and pull it down so it's not riding over top of the edge of the fender. And I'm just gonna come right along this top edge and squeegee that down. That's not gonna, that's not gonna pop up. Now I'm just gonna peel it back just a little bit to get some tack solution in there. out flush it out with tack there we go now I can take and squeegee all this down now we do have a wrapped edge right over here but because of how much we've had to stretch the film from side to side this edge has already started to wrap itself so this is actually gonna be really easy to wrap but as you can see with all the suds in there there's still a lot of soap in there I want to flush all that out before I Follow that up with a squeegee. Now, as far as this edge goes, it's already been wrapped because of the tension. All I'm gonna do is follow it up with a squeegee at an angle, just like so. I'm focusing on that edge first to make sure there's no solution left behind. And then I'm gonna come back and follow up with some pressure. And then last but not least, I'm gonna take and run my finger along there, make sure that there's there's nothing popping up. Okay, now we can deal with the middle. So, move over here. There we go. Now what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that the film is lining up where it needs to up on top over here and it's not causing or there's not so much that needs to be wrapped underneath there because obviously you're not going to get your squeegee that far under there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray some tack, try and lift the film up over here right where it needs to be, go along that body line, take and squeegee all that, all that down. I realize we have not wrapped this underneath here yet. I'm just gonna get the middle down and then we'll do that after. So this is down, this over here by the driver's side is down. All I'm gonna do now is just take and pull the film down 
So the film in here lines up. Hit that with a little bit of tack. And I'm gonna come along. Everything on the top here, I'm gonna push it out the top. Do the same thing over here, just like so. Now I'm gonna start pulling stuff out the bottom. I apologize for the squeaking sound of my rolling chair. It's hard to find a good one. If you have any recommendations, let me know down below. There we go. Now I'm gonna take and pull the film back. Same thing I did on the uh, passenger side. Tack solution underneath it. Now I'm going to start over here, same thing with my squeegee, I'm going to come along right along that edge. I'm just going to start to get that film wrapped underneath. Follow up with my thumb. That's all down. Now I'll take and get this area down. Pull this all back. all squeegee down. Okay, and that's how you go ahead and install PPF on the upper bumper of the of the new Ford Lightning. If you guys enjoyed that video, leave a comment down below. Make sure you like it. Um, subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more PPF content.